Hello, welcome back. Now, we continue our job for the 3D180 project. First, we drag the two videos to the working space in the auto panel video. The synchronization should be OK because the video was made with the stereo module on a Hero 3 Plus, so we are leaving them as 00, zero and apply. For stitching, we are using a template which was built previously for 3D180. When it's loaded, you can check at the preview window. It is showing in 2D only. Now, we are going to the stereo tab and check the stereo box. Assign the left only to the left wheel, right only to the right. You may render the left wheel and right wheel at two different passes and combine them together if you want a uh, higher output resolution. For simplicity in this tutorial, I'm just leaving them as over and under. When it's applied, you can see it's showing the left on the top and right on the bottom. You may also notice this lens is seeing more than 180 as you can see something extra at the edges. No worry, you can simply hide them out by applying a mask so it's leaving 180 at the center. Very easy. Now we go to the render tab for the rendering. The software itself is rendering at 2160 square pixels and the FPS you may want to change it to the original video setting. When you hit the render button, the software will render the video. Make sure you are having the video patched with the uh, YouTube 360 script so that the YouTube user they can see the video in 360 as well as in 3D. Okay, I'm going to render the video now and put a, a link for the final video in the description here. Stay tuned.